welcome or welcome back. My name is Caitlin. I'm 25 years old and I do weekly cash stuffing videos here on this channel, Caitlin Marie Budgets. But today I'm doing a cash budget um, breakdown with y'all. I haven't done these in a while. Um, so I thought, let me go ahead and do it. And um, I have been lately printing out a budget sheet, but um, I normally print those out at work and I forgot them there. So I just wrote it down like this and it and doing this can show y'all that y'all don't need anything fancy um, to budget your money. So I like doing that every once in a while. You can even just write it on a scrap piece of paper that you have um, or you can print it out too if you would like to. But I already went through and just wrote all the categories that um, I am putting money into and then also over here under my sinking funds I put what I think I want to put money into depending on how much money I have left over after my cash envelopes and my bills um, so we're gonna go ahead and start I do this is paycheck number three of September I always write that on the top to try to <laughs> remember and then I do get paid $400 and I know when it's laying down, it's kind of hard to see with this angle. Um, so I am sorry about that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I do have to turn my paper to right. So also sorry about that. <laughs> um, gas is gonna get 60, it always gets 60. And then groceries is gonna get um, 80. Dine out is going to get 40 and spend is going to get 10. Um, I was going to put five in there because I've been putting five lately, but I am going to my high school's homecoming football game and I don't know how much it is to get in. So I'm sure it's probably more than $10 now because whenever I was in high school, I didn't have to pay because I was in band. So I don't know. <laughs> I think it used to be for students at least $7 and then for regular people just coming in it was $10 but I'm hoping this will pay for most of it and then we'll see where I can get the rest of it out at. Well, I need $45 in tithes, 40 for the regular and five for um, the rest of the golf cart money because I did um, last Friday, I cleaned my future mother-in-law's house and so she gave me some money for it and so i put i put that money towards the um golf cart for the church and um last week i did twenty dollars in there and we only need 125 dollars for it to help them pay for that for the wedding that's why we are helping them pay because they're getting they're renting a golf cart for um, the wedding, so we wanted to help out a little bit, so we're paying half of it. Um, so let's get our calculator out. We have, I know y'all probably can't see that, I picked the wrong color. <laughs> we have 60 plus 80 plus 40 plus 10 plus 45 equals $235 is already used up. So that's the total. There's a look at it real quick. And then um, I'm going to minus this from $400. And that is $175 left. Or 65, excuse me. <laughs> $165 left. Um, and I'm going to switch between this blue, switch from this blue to this purple. So maybe it'll be a little easier to see for y'all. Okay, now to my bills. Car payment has to get six. Oh, wow. I think that might be worse. Let's try the pink. Whoops. Okay, that's a little darker. Okay. It always gets $61. Car insurance, I'm actually going to skip it again. 
Um, I pay every six months so I can get caught up over that time period, but this month with my wedding and all the expensive expenses and stuff, um, I want to keep that $40 to go to somewhere else. Jim is getting $13. Um, water bill is getting 10, which I need to pay that. I haven't thought about that. I need to pay that. So I need to call up there and pay that. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, that pink is better. Okay. Let's clear that out and let's go 61 plus 13 plus 10 equals 84. And then minus the 165 equals $81 left. Okay. So let's take a look at that real quick again so y'all can see. 61, 13, and 10. All right, next we have 52 weeks. Um, we are putting $20 in there for sure. And when I get over here, I usually just go ahead and um, take it down like this and do minus 20. So we have $61 left. I do need to get pet food soon. So I have, I'm have i going to put $20 in there as well. We have $41. Um, kids, I put this on here because I did want to add a little bit in there for that game show just in case um she wants um, i'm going with my niece i don't think i explained that part but i'm going with my niece i'm taking my niece so in case she wanted um some concession stands or something like that oh i gotta come back to that okay future and retire always get two so let's go ahead and minus four so that's 37 dollars and I have to pay for my hair for the wedding, so I wanted to put enough in there. But I also wanted to put more in 52 weeks. See, this is where, because this is for my wedding, and it's literally a week from now that I'm getting married. So, uh, which I'm going to do after my wedding. Um, when it's not so stressful, I'm going to do a budget breakdown of my wedding stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, I think I'm going to put 10 in two kids. Because that should be enough, right? To get like a drink and a hot dog or something. <laughs> 27. Okay. I guess I'm going to put seven extra dollars into the 52 weeks and then put 20 into beauty okay minus seven minus 20 is zero so we do have a zero based budget here on this channel where all of my money gets um spent somewhere as in spent means it gets put somewhere <laughs> Um, so that is what we are looking at. I am going to go through here real quick and go ahead and write out my denominations so that y'all can see how I do that. Um, I'm going to do it with this purple pen and I'm going to do it with a thicker side. So hopefully that'll be thick enough for y'all to see. But I'm going to speed this part up and then come at the end with it. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, that's... An... Never mind, I'm not doing that. That didn't work out. <laughs> So we're gonna do it with a thin side and then I'll just hold it up for y'all to see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is really light. That purple pen. This is like. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope y'all can see it. So this is how I do my denominations. I just go out beside the number and write them out. And then I write a little note here and then I will go and count them. So let me go ahead and count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 20s. 
In tens, we have one, two, three, four, four tens. And then we have fives, one, two fives. And we normally have 10 ones. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. And that is what I do for my budget. Then I will get a sticky note. I'll write this on to the sticky note and I'll take my money because I do get paid in cash. And um, <clears throat> they normally give me all 20s. So, um, which this is more than that. So actually, um, because whenever I took my um, tiny challenges that I completed, I went ahead and changed those out so I wouldn't have to go to the bank, but we'll see. I might need some tins and stuff, but um, anyways, I'll change up this to what I actually need. And um, like the 20s, I will take that off because I already have the 20s. Um, if I need the tins, I'll do the tins, however it goes. Um, but yeah, I'll take this sticky note, it, take it to the bank, and I've showed y'all that before. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's in like some vlogs and... Um, I have showed it in a cash stuffing. Um, if I can find it, it'll be linked below. But yeah, that is my budget. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can stick around and see more videos from me. And I will see y'all in my cash stuffing. Bye!